Hello and welcome back everyone. Today I just got some exciting news and we were out and about um, taking Kaya to one of her appointments and while we were out um, we were just driving back and got into the driveway and I realized that a UPS truck had just pulled out of our uh, driveway and the jellyfish were delivered. I can't wait to get them finally into the tank and I did open the box, they're swimming around, they seem to be doing really well um, and look healthy as well. Right now, what I'm working on is acclimating them to the water temperature and the different levels of uh, salinity and, um, you know, ammonia, nitrate, nitrite, and that type of thing. Um, because it took a while to cycle the tank and prepare the tank so that the jellyfish could survive in it. And now that the tank is all ready, I am able to slowly add water into the bag that they came in and then remove water out of it and basically get them acclimated to that water so that I can put them right into the tank. So right now, I just have them sitting in a glass uh, measuring cup and you can kind of see them, they're on the right side and the left side right now. And there's not any water flow, so they're, it's harder for them to move around and swim. But you can still see their bells pulsing, and um, they are able to move around a little bit, but it helps to have the water flow. So I've already added, uh, in five minute increments, I've added water from the tank, and then water from the measuring cup back into the tank. And I've done that three times so far, so I'm going to do it one more time and then we should be able to add the jellyfish right into the tank. All right, so I've got the half a cup of water and I'm gonna add that into the measuring cup. And you wanna be careful not to get any bubbles into their bells because that can be very harmful to the jellyfish. And now that is added. I also did test the water um, with this testing kit by API and basically as I was mentioning before it tests for ammonia pH levels nitrites and nitrates and you want to make sure you have the correct levels of those four so that the jellyfish can survive in the water they're such cool creatures you can just see them pulsing around there enjoying life having fun and let's see if I can do this one-handed so what I'm gonna do so I'm going to take the top of my tank off, set that down there, make sure that doesn't fall over, and then we'll go ahead and go in and carefully scoop up a jelly. Looks like we got them. And then we'll just slowly add him into the tank. And there he is. It's kind of hard to see in there. We'll have to wait until the light's back on. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop the other jelly into there. And then I'm going to put the LEDs back onto the tank. And show you guys kind of how it's working. And how everything's going with the jellies so far. All right, so both of the jellies are inside the tank right now. Um, it is pretty common for them to be a little slow and sluggish during the first day. And they also, the reason why they're mostly upside down right now and not pulsing as often is because they're trying to acclimate to the salinity difference between the water that I took them from in the bag and then the water in the tank. And after a day or so, they should start to pulse about every one second, and they'll be much more lively and active. So kind of my plan is to let them just take it easy for a few, and I will check in tomorrow as well and let you guys see how they're doing, um, see if they've acclimated well enough. And then we'll uh, go ahead and feed them as well because I do have to wait 24 hours before I can feed them for the first time. So to give you a little overview of the tank, the idea of how it works is it filters water through these holes right here. And that goes into this reservoir which then spills over into the filter sponge. 
and the idea of the sponge is to build up bacteria that will reduce ammonia and nitrites in the water. Then it also filters through this media which will cleanse the water and take out any um, harmful bacteria or particles or anything like that before it passes back through the filter in the back of the tank, shoots the water right out of the spray bar, which then keeps a constant circulation for the jellyfish so that they don't get stuck on the bottom. It's designed as a circular tank so that the jellyfish don't have any sharp edges or anything to bump into. It's very smooth and it keeps them from damaging their bell or their tentacles or anything else. It's actually quite a cool concept and design and it seems to be working really well for the jellyfish right now. All right, so the other thing I wanted to show you guys is the reverse osmosis water system. This filters out anything that is could be harmful to the jellyfish and basically takes whether it's well water or city water and depending on how hard the water is. So what it does is the water will filter from the faucet into this red tube. It'll go through the filtration system and then it filters out into this blue tube here and that's where I can capture the water in a jug or something similar to that. All right guys, so it's day two with the jellyfish and they seem to be doing really well. They look really healthy and they're moving around quite a bit and we're gonna try and feed him today. I think that one's camera shy. <laughs> he doesn't like to pulse whenever I put the camera on him, but whenever I'm looking before that, he seems to be pulsing around and um, moving quite a bit. And then the other one is doing really well also, and they seem to be really active today. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab some food and then go ahead and feed them, and we'll see if we can get them to eat. So this is the jelly fuel. It's a powdered brine shrimp. And we're gonna go ahead and mix up some of this and then feed it to them. So I mixed in roughly a cup of the tank water. And then we're going to go ahead and take just a few pellets for each of the jellyfish from the jelly fuel and mix that into the water. They don't need much because they're so small. So now we're gonna mix the jelly fuel. And because jellyfish are 95% water, if you put in food that is not well mixed, it can actually burn the tentacles of the jellyfish. So we're gonna go ahead and wait until that mixes up and then we'll go ahead and feed them. It's been about five minutes or so. It looks like the jelly fuel has been well hydrated and should be ready to add to the tank. So we'll go ahead and remove the top of the tank. And I'm gonna add this water back into the tank. And we'll see if we can get the jellyfish to eat some of it. So now the jellyfish have been fed. I'm gonna wait a few hours just to see if they're able to eat some of it, and every once in a while I'll probably mix up the food if it settles on the bottom. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this content, and I'm probably gonna end the vlog here. Um, if you did enjoy it, just let me know when I can make more content about the jellyfish and let you guys know and give you updates on how they're doing. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Bye.